Yo, what's up everyone, Project Moto here. Um, obviously we've done the unboxing of the Multistrada V4. Well now I'm going to get ready and take it out. Going to ride it back to back with a 1260S to see um, what the differences are between the bikes. So um, yeah, let's get into the video. So here it is, the Multistrada V4S. So yesterday when we unboxed it, uh, the roads were dry. As you might have seen in the unboxing video, Darren and Matt rode it, uh, awesome. But today, driving here, it was only zero degrees and my temperature on my car and the roads were wet, so, uh, you know, it's not going to be quite the same, but uh, let's take it out see what it's like. So this is what we're going to take out. Me and Paul are going to take the two bikes out. We're going to take out the V4S, the new one, and we're going to take out the 1260S. I just asked you, I said, do you want something to eat? And you said, no. Well, so I said, do you want a bacon and an egg roll? You the, said no. That wasn't the go-ahead for you, was yeah, it? Yeah, but so I've had, I thought, I'm waiting for you, I'll have a bacon and egg roll. You have it, go on. I will have it. So also, when you look at these new multi striders look how much bigger they are than the 1260. If you look at the height of the lights, and also even the width, look at the engine down there on the twin, and then on the V4, it's quite a bit wider lower down as well but it's actually got more ground clearance and the seat height's the same so they've done well there so we take these bikes outside first yeah let's do it you're going to ride this first yeah i don't mind whatever you want i'll take the 1260 Right, let's just look at them. So here's a new one. I'm going to take the 1260. You know how to use all these heaters? No, not at all, yeah. Let's have a look. Press the button. Um, I've got to start it first. This one. Press that. There's a new button. So look, these are, yeah, what's that? Heated seat. Press the button in. Low? High? Yeah. What? Hi, I want to, you know, concentrate on the piles, don't I? Right, so that says that's going to be on. Do you want to start it up and see? <laughs> right, so that goes back out of that. Yeah, look. Come on. Pink clips are on. So you're ready to go. I'm back to basics with the little tips then. Right, let's get the gear on, get out of here. Right, well your bike's nice and warmed up, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, let's warm mine up. Right, well, you're in sport mode, you know. You want it in sport? Always. Yeah. Right, so I'm on number 1260, which I like the bike anyway. That's the V4 in front. Right, so Roads are a bit um, slippery and wet, so we ain't going to go mad. He looks nice and warm though, doesn't he? Heated seat, heated grips. But, half the road falling apart. I mean, for me, this is comfy as anything. The 1260. Got plenty of grunt if you twist the throttle. Right, so when you're rolling on, look, doing 30. On the 1260, well, 35 second gear. It's spinning a bit there actually, just because uh, 
Erdem Pilis. Ağaçlı ucunu denk gelip. Bu geldi. Quick shift is fine. That it's open. That if you just open it up, it just spit. It's just spinning. Yeah, I had a bit of a twinge. How's them heated seats and stuff? How do you what? How's them heated seats? The heated seat is brilliant. The grips yeah. are too hot. Oh. The suspension is outstanding. This is like limitless power. It's so easy to ride. When you overtook that truck the first time, I didn't have a lot of room. The yeah. corner ran out, and it just fucking stayed there. There was nowhere really to have a little ride. You can't. If it was dry, those roads would be brilliant. Let's just go back, warm up a bit. Right, so the seats are on, the grips are on. Right, so straight away it's smoother than that, like engine-wise, but that was to be thought that it was going to be like that. It is slippery though. Really, look, that's how cold it is. There is ice in the fields. So, yeah, we're a little bit cautious opening the bottle. It does feel lighter than that, 1260. But to be honest, the 1260 feels light anyway. I think they're both good bikes. Let's check out the radar. So, he's behind me, look. See the indicator? He's that side of me. Now, he's that side of me. So, the radar is going off when he's certain distance. Let's have a look. Yeah, look. There's something coming. And it's Paul. You see him in the mirror? That's pretty good. Right, we're just full gear. Roll on. That's probably full of throttle. It's so easy to go past, even in this wet flight. It literally feels like it's gliding. And now we've got a cement mixer. So the back I'll take because it's fucking right in the way. That flashing thing is fucking funny. Yeah, it's like at zero degrees and wet roads, it ain't the best time on a brand new bike with new tyres. But initially it does feel better, the engine feels smooth as anything. It's not like like the multi-strada is a bit for me a little bit on and off you still want that smoothness off the bottle now uh, the gearbox is super smooth up and down the box like right, the front still feels good still feels good That's in, that's in. That's impressive, isn't it? It is good. It's very, very twitchy. 
the 12, 16 sport, that's in sport as well, and it just fell. It's too wet out there. Did you notice all the ice in all the fields? There was ice everywhere. It was zero degrees and wet roads, so... Do you know what the thing is with that? It's so smooth. Yeah, yeah. It it's smooth. It? Yeah, and it's very... brand new. That's yeah. going to get better as that's well. It's yeah. chirpy. Yeah, but it's like a street fighter, isn't it? Like anyone who rides any type of bike would ride that and say that's a brilliant bike. That's what I mean. You get off a fire blade, get on that and say, what's the point of having a fire blade? Exactly. Shit these bikes. No, you would. You had the rough one first though, didn't you? Yeah. Because they are rough, aren't they? They don't feel yeah. it if you've not ridden one of them. The 1260 is lovely. That thing was just like a magic it's, carpet. Yeah, it's it? like, you know what? It, it, I'll tell you what it does, it glides. It, I must admit, it was all right. There was cars, trucks, weren't there? Yeah. Potholes. No, like having in, said that, if you're riding in those conditions, you wouldn't want to be on that thing, would you? No, that's like, what I'm saying. Like that this. still handled that. Pothole and stuff. They were still going along and handled it fine. Yeah. I don't know. Well. Obviously, it's really nice to ride. As we come back, we went past them built houses where there's all that mud on the road yeah, as well. Yeah. Just to so went around there, the front was, you could just feel that it was. I know, I could see. Because I was watching how, how your bike reacted and I thought, that's me in a second. Yeah, well, as I, as I come around that right bit, I thought, it wasn't even lent over. No, just no. tipped in like that. I felt the front just go like that and I thought, oh, this feels a little bit. And it, it, it does, it pushes here. you out a bit, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and, and I thought, yeah. nah. It was smooth and lovely. The other one, I ride a bit harder to keep up with you. Oh, did you? Uh, where was that? I was riding it easy. I was riding it less. I know, I know, I know. Anybody who's ridden, who rides anything, it don't matter if they ride a, a Panigale, an R1 or anything, they'd ride that bike and think this bike's brilliant. Yeah. I mean, when you think that that, that was in sport mode and sport suspension and everything, if you put that in a like an urban mode, it probably would have been fine out there today, in a lesser mode. Although that is smooth, the 1260 gearbox. They're both smooth going up and down. Yeah. But the going up on that V4 is literally, you don't even feel nothing. No. It's that smooth. I'd, I want to have a go when it's a bit warmer and the roads are dry and you can actually have a ride. I reckon it's probably going to be one of the best bikes yeah. they've ever made. I think so, yeah. Well, so that was the Multistrada V4. Um, not the best day to ride it, really. Should have rode it yesterday when we unboxed it, but it did get a bit late. Uh, good still to ride the bike. We couldn't really push it in them cool conditions. When you're riding along thinking it's freezing, the roads are wet and you're tipping into a bend and just as you look into the field next year, there's all puddles with ice all over them. It don't exactly give you confidence that uh, let's have a push this bike. Initial thoughts, it is definitely a better bike. It is don't get me wrong the 1260s is a brilliant bike they're so good to ride if you've not ever ridden one but this is another level uh, the engine is so smooth and powerful wherever you kind of open the throttle whatever revs you're in it just wants to go uh, we did have it in sport mode yes i know in the icy conditions but it just wants to go um had a couple of moments on the 1260 on the way out where like whacking the throttle um the traction control it was spinning up and the traction control was kicking in so uh it, again i wanted to take it easy on the v4 but it was just made it easy it's funny talking to paul that he said you know he found it he was pushing the 1260 more to keep up with me on the v4 but i was actually riding the v4 easier and felt slower because it was easier didn't really get to push it around the bends to find out whether that bigger front wheel made any difference but as soon as it gets dry if we get a dry day in the next day or two i'll take it out again and do a proper video riding the bike and uh you know see what it's like but yeah the gearbox again silky smooth the quick shifter on it the, again let, let's, I don't want to take anything away from the 1260 but this bike on every little aspect has got better um, I think even like people total just fans of sports bikes would be hard pushed to ride this bike and say it's not a good bike I mean I certainly wouldn't want to be riding around them roads on a Panigale not when it's freezing cold and the roads are wet it just gave you confidence that you could do that you know at some points obviously we was going faster than what you see but it didn't feel like it but like i say we didn't really get to push the bike so like four of us have rode the bike we all think it's a brilliant bike and um, we still got the radar bit to do what we'll do i'll do another video actually on just all the electronics on this bike because there is so many even just riding along i was thinking change this change that oh, it's, there's too much to mess about so we just basically stuck the heated seat on stuck the heated grips put it in sport and you know what more do you want 
as always guys thanks for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it um, if this is the kind of thing you're into all things bikes then maybe think about hitting that subscribe button and uh, I'll see you again soon thanks very much for watching well we just heard a bit of a bang and a noise outside so uh, let's just have a look what it is let's come across here let's fit through that gap there smash that car hit the other car hit the wall and fucked off and the old bill's still chasing him now I can hear it this took all that out as well look Well, that was lucky, bruv, wasn't it? Fucking was. That could have been you and me with donuts in our hands. Nah, too late for that. <laughs> Do you want my car there? So we're having tea, coffee, tea. If you could go on holiday anywhere now, where would yeah. you go? Where Barbados. would you choose? What, Barbados? I'll be on the beach now. Would you? Yeah. What would you be doing? If you're a beachy person, do you like snorkelling and stuff? Yeah, I'll call it. Yeah. Oh, good. When you come on holiday with me, we'll go snorkeling, yeah? yeah? I'll, I'll do. A bit snorkeling. What else you like? Your sunbather or not? I'll do it for a while, then I'll get up and go for a swim, then I'll get laid down till I'm dry. Oh, I'll that's what I'll do. Again. We'd be perfect on holiday together. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. We're going together. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the birds. Yeah, we'd be perfect. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it already. Oh, that's three sugars for him. Food like in Barbados. Lovely. Yeah? Mm. What sort of food is it? Fish? Yeah, there's fish, there's meat, chicken stuff. So the same as here? Spiced, yeah, a lot like flavoured, yeah. If there was a holiday place you never wanted to go to again, where would that be? England. England. <laughs> Fucking he's lucky he didn't come through and take this wall out. He could have been sitting in our kitchen. I heard a, I heard a bang, like a... I heard like, and I thought, no, Matt going... Matt, Matt went, what the fuck? Yeah. Sort of thing. <laughs> and that was that excitement for the day. Well, you could quite easily have been walking around there, though. Yeah, someone could have been sitting out part with their kid or something. Walking their dog or that. I think the other day when we nearly got mugged. We could have been mugged and run over. Do you want a drink? Do you want a drink, Sarge? Si? What's he on? <laughs> Did you see us? <laughs> nah. It's lucky he didn't come through the wall, the geezer. What a donor start. Hogging any limelight whatsoever. No. Nah. If we'll move now and leave you to it. Alright. Because what'll happen is it'll film you coming out the toilet. Here comes the old Bill. Is it? Yeah, look, come around the corner. Can you see, can you see, Pop? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking prick. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to, do you want to, do you want to bump up? I need to jump up and have a look. <laughs>